Now it's the second base. Jose Altuve. The second base is Jose Altuve. The second base is Jose Altuve. And a pitch. Ball. Just missed. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Base hit center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Altuve runs. Pitch in for a strike. For the second. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Mullins settles under it. Hooks it away for the out. That's out number two. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Two out spaces empty. Hard ground ball, base now. All over that one right there. Pulled that one right in the direction of the shifted defense, but no one can make a play on it. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. Jose Abreu up to hit. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Bounced up the middle. And that one finds its way through. So that's two straight two-out hits. Here's Kyle Tucker. in the air left field and Tucker is retired and that is that now the third baseman Leonardo Henderson he's someone who quickly made a splash at this level Chris a former rookie of the year on the ground now Tuve handles it in there safely no problem beating out the infield hit right there. Good hustle getting down the line. And now they've got some speed up first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Adley Rutschman in the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Nobody out. Runner at first. And a foul ball. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. Runner takes off. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Riding to the plate. Swing and a high fly ball left field. McCormick makes the grab, one down. Anthony Santander at the plate. Throw to first, and he's back in easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Runner takes off. And a base hit. Lee Runner makes the turn at second. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. Pitch. All three. Oh, oh, he's in a double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And he takes one right on the black. Bounce full, three and two. Chase the swing. Now it appeared a third. That a swing. He held up just enough. That's ball four. One down. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can throw. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball. Two strikes. Foul ball still, one and 
two count. Right hander kicks deals. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Back here in Baltimore, on top of the second. And stepping in for the Astros, Yaner Diaz. And here it comes. Way upstairs, and it's two and one. In the postseason, you see just how important every last play can be. You never know what's going to make the difference in the end. The 2 2 now. Rip to right, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid yeah, off right yeah. there as he got into yeah, an advantage yeah. count. Showed a willingness to drive yeah, that yeah. pitch the opposite yeah. way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And that should be extra bases. Diaz, around second, headed for third. Row comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. Everything came together for him. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Uh, like you said, Boog, every play is so pivotal at this point of the year. As a player, you got to be locked in. Back to the mound. Base hit. One run is in. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Going, Double going. steal. Fights that one away, still one and two. At the belt and fires. On a line, base hit, around third. One run across. Up oh, next, idea. Yeah. So the lineup flips over. We'll say Altuve up to it here. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin kill. And now it's Alex Brinkman. Two gone, base is empty, but three runs across here at the top of the second. And another ball. Two ball, two strikes. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. And that's the third out. And we're back. Leading off to the bottom of the second. And now it's Austin Hayes. And the ready deals. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Jorge Mateo now. That catches the top part of the zone. And the count is one and two. Hit, connect on the curveball, struck him out. Two out, the base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Jordan Westbrook. Out to short, Pena. Fires across the diamond. Three up, three down, inning over. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez. That one hammered left field. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Pretty good change up on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. And right back to the mound. Tosses the first. That takes care of a brave. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. The pitch. 
No. And a curve misses outside. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Goodbye, Cobra. He flexes his power with that swing. It's 5 zip. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the line. For a second, he brought it back out there too. Gave it a great effort, but you know those plays are so tough to pull off. And I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. And now Yaner Diaz, one down, base is empty. Lifted in the air, right field. Santon Bear makes the grab, and it's two down. Chaz McCormick digs in now. Into the mix, struck him out. Bottom of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. Late that time, and it's strike two. We One, haven't two. seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop now. play. It definitely feels close. Okay. Over to Abreu. Leadoff man retired here in the third. And a 3-1 on the way. Into center. Puts it away for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Anthony Santander. That one to first. He takes it himself out. to the bag, and that'll do it. Out of the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena. Here comes a pitch. And a big swing and a miss. He has one a tendency ball. to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Hit in the air, center field. Mullins makes the grab one away. So next up for Houston, Jake Myers. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Sometimes what a hitter do? will go up there and guess, and it's not just pulling something out of the sky, but expecting because of tendencies a certain pitch in a certain location, he just guessed wrong. Righty delivers. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. The pitch out there, and now two gone. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Jose Altuve. Two and one now. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And that one is off the wall. And he's got a double. He was all over that one. one. Just coming on for the Orioles, now, Dean Kremer. Now, Still now, pretty now, early now, in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to have. Four. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap. Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. And that gets down in the corner. Runner from second crosses the plate, and it's now a six-run lead. Not in time, he's safe. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now a chance for Jordan Alvarez. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's seven to nothing. Picks himself up an RBI. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do. On a line out towards center. And there's a hit. The throw in. It's offline. The run comes in. It's 8-0. That was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. I can watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. There's a swing and a drive. And it's into the gap. And that's going to roll to the wall. Coming around third is Abreu. Safe. They are really feeding off each other. That's five. 
five hits in a row. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bob. So many positives that led to that knock. And now, Yainer Diaz dives and he can't hang on. The run comes in from second. It's 10-0. This is unbelievable. That's now six consecutive now hits. A new arm into the game. The righty, Tyler Wills. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And another ball. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the pitch. Runner on the go. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Runner on the go again. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Back now at Oriole Park, ready to go, bottom four. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think ah. keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. That one fouled off. And the pitch. Ah. Swings and misses. Picks up strikeout number seven. No two no outs, no bases no empty. And Good next is the designated hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. In the air, left field, down the line. McCormick brings it in for the third out. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Next offer in there for a strike. And the count one and two. Two strikes. This one in the air center field. Mullins in pursuit. Corrals it. And there's one down. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. No he chance did. on the throw. He beats it out. Now, bad, bad. So the Houston That's lineup big. turns over. Here's the former MVP, oh, Jose Altuve. Run it, run Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Oh, Stuck in there. And it's safe. It's a stolen base. Here's Alex Bregman. One one down. Runner takes off for third. That's it for a strike. Throw to third. Save. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. That one is hammered right field. Ups over the wall, and that's an automatic double. And a run comes in to score. You're Don Alvarez. Now at the plate. And it is two and one. Second with two down. Flopper to right field, way back, gone! A gigantic blast. 
It's 13 nothing. Look at that. Good reaction. Fastball up and in. Not an easy pitch to get to, but because it was just a reflex, he didn't have time to get long with this swing. The pitcher on here, Dylan Tate. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. This offense is on fire. Three extra base hits in a row. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Oh, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Here in Baltimore, we head to the bottom of the fifth and into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. That one finds the zone and the count one and two. Ground ball to the right side, and that's just foul. He goes down looking. The batter, number three. The batter will be the shortstop. Jorge Mateo. And a 1-1. One -one. The, the shortstop ball. takes the ball. Looks like the weather New could ball. actually play one a factor strike. in this one. It's coming down pretty ball. good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. to kick the pitch and yeah, there's ball, ball four, four. just missed there good how would you describe your strikes now that kind of like a weevil large one gone runner at first jordan westberg the next to hit for the orioles check on the runner mateo back in standing the Strohs up big in this one. Last half of inning number five. Got it. Two down. Third baseman number two. Now the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. And the right hander deals. This offense has their backs against the wall. You know, baseball has a way of surprising people, but it's going to take a huge effort to fight back and save their season. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back now at Oriole Park, top of the sixth inning. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Yaner Diaz. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to get into the corner. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Pulls in with a double. Third hit for him today. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Now really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Westberg in plenty of time to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. And next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. Swing and a miss. He was late. One strike two. two. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. On the ground. On to O'Hearn. out there for the out. Runner scores from third. Two outs. Base is empty. Jake Myers. The next to hit. Soft contact in the air. Hauls it in to Indiana. And we're back. Here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. Ball and two. another ball. You know, these Two's Orioles, on. as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. 2-2 Two -two now. Stays alive. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pinch. 
Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And they'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball right side. And he beats He's it safe. with room to spare. And at first, and next to the Orioles, right. Anthony right. Santander. Right. Rutschman gets his lead at first. Nobody out. That's Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. Ooh, the runner at first needs Who's to be right? careful right here. He's dealing with the pickoff artist on the mound. The one, two. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's the no, Orioles' cleanup no, hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. Oh, the one, one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing three, today. Three. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to now commit to one velocity and stay there. So next to hit for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Two, two strike. Oh, strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. Welcome now, back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Ryan three. Baker. Right. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. And he deals. Ball. And another ball. Left field. Hayes has it sized up. Has it in for you. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. So now the DH spot. You're Don Alvarez. Right-handed reliever. To first, maybe a two-ball. One at second. Back to first for two, and that'll do it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now here's the Orioles' DH. Now, Justin Orioles. Verlander will take over That's here. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. The pitch. In the air on the infield. Abreu moving under this one. He's got it. One down. Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. One down, base is empty. Line drive, and that's a base hit to the right. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Jorge Mateo kicks and fires. Good eye right there. Man at first, one away. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And here it comes. Ball Missed three. with a changeup. Full count three full count. and two. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches yeah, and earned a walk. So one out with two aboard. Jordan Westbrook will hit next. That's the third, and it goes just foul. The pitch. Leaves a defender for the strikeout. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. And into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Hayes on second. Mateo at first, two out of the inning. Oh, great stop to his knee. The throw on the money. Nice play. New inning getting started at the play. Jose Abreu. Abreu. Ground ball up the middle. A slide stop at short. The throw, and they kick the out. 
Tucker. What next for the Astros? Down base is empty. Running track. Oh, and you can touch all baseball, man. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they add on. It's 15 0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. So one out, nobody on. Gainer Diaz up next for the Astros. The 1-1. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs. Up the middle, Westberg tosses to first, and that'll do it. Out of the bottom of the eighth, now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. The count two and one. There's a strike. Mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. 2-2 Two -two now. Ground ball right side. Altuve ah. slings to first. Rutschman retired. And next for the Orioles, Anthony Santander. One out, base is empty. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Ryan O'Hearn, the next to hit for the Orioles. Left-hand batter waits. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, CNL Perez. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And now Jeremy Pena. And now the lefty line drive caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. On to O'Hearn. And a couple of quick outs. Jose Altuve. Up next for the Astros. The Astros up big in this one here at the top of the ninth. down the line could be extra bases around first heading for two and he's got his second double of the game well they call that an advantage count for a reason you're so much more likely to get something you can handle fastball pretty much middle middle and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter so no surprise he put a great swing on it. he's got it and that is out number three so bottom of the ninth, and now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. The now Astros turn to a new arm of the mound, Luis Garcia. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. The wind of the pitch. Comes up empty, that's strike two. One, two. And that just misses. Now all even up. High in the air, out to right. Tucker on the move. 
Makes the catch for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. He's two outs away. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Ryan Mountcastle. In the air, right field, Tucker drifts towards it, drops into the glove, and there are two outs. Now, back. so the right Gallagher final out, Austin there. Hayes, the next Hayes. to hit for the Orioles. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. One ball, two strikes. This could end it. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That one back there, and that is a foul ball. ball. And there's a ball. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. And it looks like he wants the signs again as he steps off the rubber. And it's celebration time. They are champions of the American League. Congratulations to the American League champions. These players have worked hard all season long, and their hard work has paid off. Now, off to the World Series. This team can't wait to get it started. From my partner, Chris Singleton, and our entire outstanding crew, thank you for watching the American League Championship Series on MLB The Show.